Hey guys, it's Key, and it's Key Like Trading. Thanks for tuning in to another video. So you guys know it's been a while, it's been a while, and there's a change, right? If you guys look at me, there is a change. And if you don't notice it, go back to my other videos and come back and tell me if you see the changes, all right? I necessarily don't like the change, but if you guys like it, let me know. Put it in the comment section. Today I got my flu shot, so you know what that means. I'm ready for the winter time, all right? So today we're gonna be talking about five mistakes I personally made as a trader in the beginning. And I know a lot of traders now are making the same mistakes. So we're gonna jump into it, all right? So the first one is cutting our loss as quick as possible. So the reason why we wanna cut our loss as quick as possible is so we can protect our capital, protect our money. We don't wanna to lose too much money as a day trader or a trader's period. The whole point of being a trader is also being able to play defense, protect your money, you know, and make more gains versus losing, right? So you have to cut your loss as quick as possible. Some people might be like, okay, it's very hard. Yes, it's a mental thing and you have to practice it. This is why most people that you might see on YouTube that are traders and want to teach you guys might tell you to use a um, paper trading platform. You can use that as well, but for me, what I do, I usually um, protect myself um, at a, a downside of 10 cent to 15 cent. So once I reach that threshold, I'm trying to cut my losses as quick as possible. There's some time I might break that rule, which I'm not supposed to, but this is when I have high conviction in my position. And as a beginner trader, if you're not really, you know, fluent in the trading world, don't do it. Just stick to the rule. Sometimes a stock can flush and it might destroy you emotionally and also cash wise, all right? So you always wanna cut loss as quick as possible. The next one is don't go all in. So the reason why you don't wanna go all in is because it actually helps you stay in trades a little bit longer and it also protect you um, emotionally. So if you're going with a smaller size, you might not make the biggest gain um, as possible, but it also give you a peace of mind. Doesn't mean you're gonna always win, but if you do lose, you're not losing as much money in that specific trade. So I will recommend, and what I've been learned for a long time is to do not go all in. Sometimes you can get away with it and you might profit very well, but I would only do that when my criteria is all checked, right? So if five out of five of my criteria is checked out or four out of five of my criteria is checked out that I think is a A quality setup, I will go all in, all right? But as a beginner trader, try to go in half size or even less than that because at the end of the day, it's gonna give you a peace of mind. And even if you do lose, you're not gonna lose that much. The reason why some people get very emotional in trading is because they're losing so much money when they're actually, you know, making the wrong decision. So as a beginner trader, going small, it'll make you be able to stay in a trade a little bit longer and eventually maybe the stock might go in your favor and also if you're wrong you're not losing as much money overall the third one is guys lock in your profit lock in that profit the reason why you want to lock in your profit is because it lower your risk and sometimes if you're wrong it will keep you in a position if you do make profit or walk away with some profit versus leaving with none all right so you want to lock in your profit and it also feels good inside when you're actually right and you lock in some profit and you actually leave the rest of your shares to do what it wants to do you can make it go up higher and just break even if it goes back down to your entry point at least you know you locked in some profit and you could walk away with a lot versus none or with some versus none that's the proper way i should say it the fourth one is don't follow others Right? I'm not saying to not take ideas from each other, but do not follow each, each other's um, entries and exit. We don't know what's gonna happen. That person might be wrong, that person might be right, but it's better to be in a position where you make your decision versus following someone because who know how experienced that person is. And maybe because they see something that's gonna work for them, it doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. All right, so you always want to follow your heart, your ideas. Don't follow other ideas. They might leave an idea, check it out, see if it makes sense, if it makes sense. Just make an educational decision based on what they say and see what they see. If you don't see it, do not risk it. 
make your own idea your own observation if it makes sense to you you would take that trade and if you lose you lose if you make profit you make profit one of the worst thing is when someone put an idea out there you follow them and actually you actually lose some money because then you be like oh why did i listen to that person sometimes it's better to just lose on your own versus listening to someone else because it do really hurt more because you could have been like okay this person was wrong why did i even follow that person all right so that is the fourth one number five trust the process guys trust the process as i said before in some of my videos is it is not a race it's a marathon so it doesn't matter how much profit you make each day it could be ten dollars twenty dollars thirty dollars a hundred a thousand it's not a race it's a marathon so take your time each and every day everything counts and i realized that when we are trading to make profit and pay our bills it's very hard and it's very um what's the word you kind of put yourself in a position where you start making silly mistakes so sometimes you have to either try to get like a part-time job or something that you can do from time to time to balance out your daily expenses or your monthly expenses because it will kind of keep all the pressure off your shoulder from making silly mistakes right being a profitable trader is not a is not like a quick thing that happens overnight remember trading trading overall is not a get rich quick scheme all right so if you're thinking that's what it is this is not the lane for you and if you do think that way change your mindset this is some way something that you can do to start growing and get bigger the more money you make the more shares you can buy the more shares you can buy the more profit you can make all right so remember guys it is not a race it's a marathon so that's it guys that's the end of the video please do me a favor please smash that subscribe button smash that like button and if anything put in the comment section some things that you guys do to help you become better traders and maybe it might help someone else that's watching this video so put in the comment section share your thoughts and i want to see it as well and i will respond to your comments all right so thank you guys it's key life trading peace